my focus is on a technology that can be applied to multiple sectors in Guyana. I think it can be applied because I've seen it being applied, I've used it, and I'm working with other Caribbean citizens who want to see this in their own country, who are lobbying the government, they speak with the opposition and the ruling party, they speak with the private sector, and they speak with government persons because the world has changed. You know, person comes down, when the world is changing, we have to adapt. That's not true. It has changed. I have a friend of mine who's now nobody lives in Malaysia now. But last month, he went there on a personal experiment. If he can survive, we're just using Bitcoin. And right now he's what? Four weeks now? What four weeks? About two months now, because we're in February, right? See that? Sometime in December, but that's where I'm at a party. So it's about two months now. And he's living there, and he's using his cell phone to buy anything, pay for everything in Malaysia. Um, somebody told me when I wanted to do this, you think I'm ready for this? I don't know, but I think at least let me just try it and see if it feels well. At least we try. Well, I've been randomly selected to ask questions. So, to start, right, what exactly what cryptocurrency is? Crypt cryptocurrency, I mean, difficult to understand, but essentially it is a, it's a digitally produced currency um, that, is, that is created by, um, again, by encryption techniques and uh, solving of algorithms that produces units of currency. Right? Now, those currencies are used, the use of those currencies uh, perpetuates the blockchain mm -hmm. technology, the underlying technology of that, of, that, uh, of that specific currency. So, while that, that actually probably sounds, it probably sounds, um, you know, difficult to understand, but people place value on that simply because each different digital currency has a different use case. And um, the, the use case, then a, the, the individual market, then assigns a value to that currency. That's how that currency gets its value. It gets its value from, much like a regular currency, from the willingness of the market or the value that's placed by it on the market. But, but it's decentralized electronic money, basically is what it is. So, to your question, if you want to, if you want to buy Bitcoin, you buy from an exchange. From an exchange. An exchange. So, okay, it, it can be, mm -hmm. right? It can be what? What? Why you use? So, currently now, I use US dollars. Okay. Yeah. Glenn spoke to the different uses of the blockchain technology. Now, afterwards, I know there's going to be a lot of conversation talking about investing and what's backed by gold and transition expectation. We're gonna deal with that. We dealt with that in the first event. It was a long night, right? But what I want to focus on is blockchain use in non-commerce application. So for example, to verify simple things in Guyana. A painting, a bar of gold, um, a watch that was made in Guyana a piece of Amerindian craft, which is, we are one out of four in fully indigenous groups in the globe, from here to Australia, yeah? Using blockchain like that to apply to a simple community, which is 10% of Guyana's population, can considerably help money flow to the Amerindian people and bring foreign currency, currency to Guyana. Yeah, this is just using blockchain the same way of how we encrypt the different coins. We encrypt, let's say, a handcrafted bar and we target and register the government registry. So one what, what of my focus is actually that. Because just a minute. Because we can go on and on on seeing the speculation, seeing the hustle. You know, this gentleman's company. 
He has E cows, E, right? That is simple. Because Guyana, arguably, has one of the best taxi service in the Caribbean. Right? You could call a taxi and get it. And when you when it comes no, the issue there, the issue there, uh, and that door, that was the center of Atlanta, is when you one tax service will give, give you it as five five hundred, the other tax service eight hundred, the other tax service X amount. So the, there's no digital record to ensure that for five kilometers I pay X, not X point five, not X point seven, I pay X. That is one of the applications we can look at as applying to the Guyana, and I don't think anyone in the world have gone that way, most of them have gone where you can pay for the taxi service via cryptocurrency or whatever, but authenticating the transaction of a person entering and reaching. So when person A enters car A, and car A reaches destination B, it's X amount of kilometers. X amount of kilometers, the smart contract now would say you can pay three US dollars. There is no hustle. To, to, to get rid of the no, it's five US. You, you, you understand what I just did there? I took out the authority and the corruption from the taxi car. That's what I just did there. And I want us to think along those lines because essentially, this is how we're going to use technology to solve our problems. Now, the, the investment part, we could go on about that, but I, I want us to focus along those lines. What, what? What can guys do to get ready? Um, this is part of it. Where education and persons don't right saying, okay, I, I believe, but I don't believe that this is the right value, or I believe this because of this information here. Educate, educating and explaining to persons how this truly works and how it can benefit them individually. Once, so I'll give a prime example because I know his case. He sees how blockchain can help his taxi service. Yes? That he then now is interested. This gentleman now sees how it can help his idea. He now is interested in taking this forward. As we continue to have events like this from time to time with different sectors, and the, the, the most important part right now is from a government level to allow like a sandbox approach. So in England, there are a few sandboxes where a sandbox approach just says, okay, this community of people or closed user group decides that, okay, we are going to allow the use of blockchain in this particular sector. And all the users are going to take a piece of it, we have our microgrid, we're going to test it, we can choose to let them. And this will be the, the person who will go over the same as the only use of this microgrid technology and letter. Sandbox legislation and regulation fosters innovation. Because it simply says that the persons in this room are allowed to test, evaluate in certain confined conditions. Of course, we're not making mistakes, of course, we're not learning lessons. But to move forward, to get ready, is this educating. The next step is to involve persons from the universities, in high school. And then the, the other part of, of it is to get developers trained. Um, one of the, the first presenters, Robert Crane Williams, we were speaking about how can we get software developers at the University of Guyana into experience in making applications with Ethereum and Neo. Why? Because if we get them knowing how to do it, they will come and work for him to do exactly what he wants to do. Or they can come and work for you to do what you want to do. And um, I think on Saturday at the World Creation Seminar, one of the questions was um, micropayment. So Gabriel Abed, the CEO of the company that Peter is the chairman of, essentially said that this iPad, I guess iPad is iPad, 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 iPad. There's a micro loan situation. That gentleman who spoke about it, he taking up a thousand US, investing it, made, making money, and then taking the money back out to replace his tools. If, if there was an organization set up in a sandbox environment, which means they have specific guidance and oversight from good regulators, saying, okay, you can operate this, you can only lend 
um, a thousand Ghana dollars. Yeah? A thousand Ghana dollars per week. And or you only a hundred Ghana dollars in a very small environment. And you have software developers and students like go to these with frontier who will build applications of okay, you know what? If you win what Michael Lennon did, can we do it to track to verify grades coming to with us? And that would foster a community that doesn't say, well, uh, what do you do? Or they take take that. So, I'll try it, try it. We will we, we'll not have that because we'll have, okay, yes, we'll try with it. Right? Or they try that, yes, we're going to try it in a sandbox environment where the government has oversight, the central bank has oversight, auditors, they want the guys to audit them. Remember which one it is, right? Auditors have oversight, they understand how to audit this kind of technology using financial principles and also with enough knowledge of the technology. Oh, this technology is self-auditing. That's the point. No, 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 it is true. But what, what the US has realized based on, I think Peter mentioned it very crass. I would go as harsh, but based on powers that be, it needs to have a level of oversight. Now, before you even talk to me some time ago, I was on that side. But I've decided that it, it may benefit for those who are regulators, right? So there's no need for regulation because it is self-audited. But we need to have, even though there's no need for a regulator, I understand that. But I really would like for it to get adopted to come out of that sandbox approach. We, 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 we need to allow that information to be shared with the regulators. One step at a time. One step at a time. That, that, that is the plan. So, to the gentleman, first question. Step by step, education, um, sandbox approach with good regulations, and after that, you can now open up to the wider community. The second part of the question, um, I have some of the information, but I won't speak to it because um, of the level of subjectivity with the information. Because if you, if, if it was up to me, honestly, in terms of in, 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 in investing, you get some money, get some developers who were good, um, expose them to some libraries and let them start building some something guys. In six months, see what you come up with. Test it in a few communities, it works. Invest in them more and we'll open it up to the wider the population. That's my view. But, well, that could be done by a group like ourselves. Well, I've been hearing about GEN, right. which is a network of these IT people who are developing, and if I'm looking for a particular program, mm -hmm. application, I, so today I discover that there is a place I can come to and say, here, this is what I need. All you got a network of people getting a team together, tell me what it's going to cost, tell me what's the funding, and let's get started. Yes. We, 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 and we, we, this is the place where I come, right? Right, right. There oh, you go. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, it's to session to facilitate the negotiation between government, private sector, regulatory, and legal. Because I have seen what can happen when all parties are brought in the table together, not leaving out one. We 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 there a case in Trinidad and Tobago for years. So the trying is not being used to address that that issue. No, right now no. The company bit in Barbados. I've done so, where we have uh, ATMs that give you from, you could take from that digital Barbadian dollar and get fiat currency, which is money. And it can, you can go vice versa. You can take US dollars, come to the ATM, put in your US dollars, and get um, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, on your wallet, which can now go online and buy from someone else. To get the full ecosystem up, it will mean that those business persons must accept it. It will mean that there needs to be enough eight ATM, enough supply of currency. We need to agree if it's going to be at market price or if it's going to be a percentage. Is we need to talk about taxation, right? And um, that part in the audience here, we have a few persons who, who will be much more familiar with the legal regulation and requirement of this kind of stuff. Things that I don't know. I'm a software developer, that's what I do. I don't know about financial systems and, and that, that kind of a thing. So they, 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 this being 
the questions you're asking now, we don't have all the answers. That's the reality. What we, well, what we know about this, this is one technology that works. And it's working in the Caribbean. And the Eastern Caribbean, this is give you an update, the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank has essentially signed an M MOU with Britain for our payments. Just to be fair, in Jamaica, there's something called carry coin, which is a light bit, but not, not exactly. Essentially, with the same desires of the people in this room, how can we move from just a point of talking to a point of action, where entrepreneurs like ourselves can use this to make money? Right, because there, there's a big need for that. So if you can create a block, people then. I, 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 I see what you did there, I like it.